What's up, guys? It's Jason with Think Gaming. Today, we're going to talk about two of my favorite things, gaming, well, kind of gaming, but we're going to talk about sneakers, and specifically, we're going to talk about Ninja, our purple-haired uh, Fortnite gamer going sneaker shopping with Complex. If you listen to hip-hop or watch anything on YouTube with hip-hop, you know about Complex. If you're a sneakerhead, you know what sneaker shopping is with Complex. So basically, to run quick rundown, in case you guys don't know, there's a show called Sneaker Shopping. It's made by Complex. And um, basically, Sneaker Shopping, what they do, it's hosted by Joe Le Puma. What he does is he gets with these celebrities and he lets them flex. Basically, they do stuff for us that normal people they do, don't do. They flex and they just drop serious cash on sneakers. Now, uh, it's very popular with sneakerheads mixed with the culture, so everyone likes watching this. I mean, recently we had Offset from the Migos on there. I mean, he's pretty much doing his own thing. Is it kind of fair to just call him Offset now? But anyways, <laughs> Offset was on there. He did sneaker shopping, and dude, this dude dropped $31,000. $31,333.12. Because I got to hear him to catch his plane, so I'm going to just take these. Y'all just pack it up, and I have my assistant or somebody to come pick up the rest. This dude was buying some serious heat there. I mean, one of the shoes I would really want that he has is the grapes. I mean, he bought them on that show. I, I need those grapes, man. I, I need the grapes. I don't know. Anyways, it's very entertaining to watch. I mean, Neymar was on there. If you guys pay attention to soccer, he was on there and he dropped like $18,000. Your total is $18,623.46. I don't know. So basically, Joe LaPuma starts the show by interviewing the celebrity and interviews Ninja. We found out, I actually, I found out a couple of things about him that he was into soccer and he was into Adidas shoes. So he always asks questions, you know, about shoes when you're younger. So he, basically, Ninja, he, he didn't say anything, you know, about hype shoes. Basically, he just bought Adidas, you know, for soccer and, you know, got him beat up. Now, there is a part of the interview where Joe did ask him about gamers having, you know, basically heaters, nice shoes, whatever. And he mentioned some small team of these Asian guys, but there was nothing really said in there about Ninja wearing nice shoes, so I was like, okay, where's this gonna go? I mean, I really hope that Ninja changes the face of what people think about gamers. That's the reason why I clicked on it. I was excited. I'm like, dude, Ninja's gonna have to just drop. I mean, what's his style? What's he gonna buy? But when I saw the store, I was like, dude, what kind of store is this? It looked like a store full of GRs. Might as well take him a Foot Locker. But anyways, usually the stores that they go to are, are something like, like Flight Club or Stadium Goods, something that has shoes that you're not gonna find in normal stores. I mean, when I go online shop, and I'll either buy straight up from StockX or I'll go to Flight Club, I don't know, um, or Stadium Goods. Usually I buy from Flight Club. I've been to a Flight Club store, the one in LA on Fairfax. Man, that's a nice store. I don't know. They do show that, that, that store on the show every once in a while. So Ninja on the show had Rick Williams, who's partnering up with him to help design a shoe, teach him about shoes, which I thought, okay, wh wh where's this going? I, it just, it wasn't sounding good. It wasn't sounding good. I'm like, does Ninja know anything about shoes? And looking at the store in the background, I was like, dude, it, this doesn't seem like something I'm going to get excited or hyped for. Like, I really wanted Ninja to change the face of what gamers are. I mean, a lot of us, a lot of people think of gamers as people that, especially the, the sneaker community is like, you know, like they don't know anything about sneakers or, or anything. You know, all they care about is games. I thought for sure Ninja being the status that he was, a big baller, what's he going to drop it on? So finally he went shopping. And Ninja was asking Rick, what should he buy? This was very painful to watch. I was like, dude, what kind of shoes are you buying? It's one of two things. Either Complex did him dirty. I mean, did him dirty. Took him to the store. But honestly, I don't think that's what happened. Because if Complex took me to that store, I'd be like, dude, I don't buy GRs. Take me somewhere else. I'm not going to do the show. You know, I want to go buy something that where I can buy hype shoes. If I want to buy GRs, I'll go shop at Foot Locker. I'll shop online. I don't know. I, 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 it just does not make sense that they took him to the store that didn't have anything hype. Or the second thing, I don't want to blame Complex because I honestly don't think it was Complex. Maybe they had to sit down and they screened him out to see what kind of shoes he likes, where he would like to buy shoes, and maybe... You know, hype shoes was not his thing. So at the end of every show, they show the total of what the customer buys. Ninja, as much money as he makes, only spent a little bit over $1,200 for 11 pairs of shoes. You heard me correctly. I was like, dude, what a cheap 
ass. I mean, dude, twelve hundred dollars is not a lot for eleven pair of shoes. I mean, for one pair of shoes, like okay, all right. So you guys know on the channel that I love my off whites. These shoes are hype as fuck. And to let you guys know, all those eleven shoes don't even equal the price of what these would cost at Flight Club or Stadium Goods. Like, I don't know. If you go right now to Flight Club. These in my size 10 will cost you over two grand. You can pay a little bit more, $1,400 to get them in ninja size 13. So basically, his shoes don't even add up to the price of one really hype shoe. I know it's not fair for me to do this because it's not like they had any hype shoes on the wall, but I highly doubt that Ninja is into anything at all. Now on there, he did mention something about Pharrell's that, yeah, you know, that when he goes back home, he, he was maybe going to be interested in some Pharrell's that cost like $15,000. Dude, I think that was added in it on there after he bought that just so it wouldn't look so bad because if he is into anything hype, you're going to wear your hypest shoes whenever you shop. And what was he wearing? A pair of Pharrell Hughes, but they were the solar Hughes, man. Those things are $150. Like, dude, they're not even hype. Like, like they go below retail. You can buy them for $130 right now. Now, I know their shoes, like, if you guys know anything about the scene, you know, just because they're $150 doesn't mean they're $150. Their worth will go way up if they're rare, if they're shoes that people want, if they're heaters. But, ah. Uh, I don't know, Pharrell's aren't doing what they used to, but some Pharrell shoes are pretty fucking hot, and those are not. It just upset me watching this because what people think of gamers, that's exactly what happened with Ninja Showed right there. Our Michael Jordan of gaming. You grew up in the Chicago area. Jimmy Fallon called you the Michael Jordan of gaming. Yeah. Went up there and bought, bought GR shoes. Was that some place? I don't fucking know. It was at... Might as well have been a foot action footlocker. I don't know. Anyways, I'm, I'm upset. I have no more to say about Ninja. All I got to say is, dude, he could go enjoy his GRs. <sighs> Last time I want to see a gamer in that show. Sorry, I'm just pissed off, man. Ninja did us wrong. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Am I overreacting? Hell no, I'm not. If you're a sneakerhead, you know exactly what I'm saying. But if you buy your shoes GRs, you probably think I'm overreacting. But <sighs> it's Ninja. It's Ninja. I'm out, man.